everyone, it's Andrea. I'm going to do a quick flip, flip through of The Littlest Darlings by Kelly Horton. Recently, Kelly Horton had um, an offer on all her books on Amazon. They were £5 each, I believe. So I already had one, so I bought another three, and there's only one more of The Little Darlings book I've got to get now, which is the Christmas one. So I'll get that now, Christmas. But this is The Littlest Darlings. So she's got in here ink tone, uh, skin tone practice sheets, character sheets with all the names on it. They're at the back, unfortunately. Um, a colour swatch index and how to draw. So she shows you how to draw them and I'll show you that at the end. So let's have a look. So that's the front and the back is just a little bit of information about the darlings. So these are like um, children version of the darlings. So very big heads, tiny bodies, very cute though. Oh, look, this one's got Harry Potter, she's got books, we've got Great Expectations, Jane Eyre, Pride and Prejudice, Lloyd of the Rings, Alice in Wonderland, and then up here we've got some Shakespeare, Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet, War and Peace, Wuthering Heights. Cool, that's a good one. It's just the little bookworm one, that was me. This one I like, I think that's very cute. So these are just adorable, very sweet. Little girls, little little darlings. Look, this one's got paints, a bar of chocolate, and an MP3 player. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And, a, and a, a laptop with an apple on it. So some of them are this way, so I'll just turn it this way around for you. This one's on her, got her bike out. This one's in her, in her allotment or a garden, doing her gardening. Oh, this one's a disco. I quite like that one. I'll probably do that one first. I really like that. That one's in the rain. Little ducklings. That's cute. And then we got this one. And this one. Cupcakes. Cassie cupcakes. Very nice. Make me hungry, that one. And then we got this one. One's at the beach. Somewhere I won't be going this year. This one with the puppies. This one's having a cup of tea biscuits and reading a book. Got a sensible girl there, I think. She's not very happy though. Perhaps she's reading a scary story. This one's having a picnic with a teddy bear. And a couple of them here and they're at the dog park walking their little dogs. And we've got a ballerina one, that's very cute. This one's knitting with her little cat. And she's got a glass of wine as well, well, a glass of something. Claire's shoes. Oh, this one's a shopping lady, shopping girl. This one's a playing soccer or football as we call it in the UK which is the proper name for it. Uh, this one's got two kitty cats in bed. I hate it when you have to turn the book constantly. That's the only thing is that I like it when they put all the rights and all the landscapes separately. So we put all the portraits together, all the landscapes together. It just makes it easier to turn the pages. So these two are camping. That's cute. Oh that's sweet on the swing. Oh, these these are just so so little cute darlings so that's all the pictures and then you get the tiny versions with the names so Jess, Ruth, Kelly, Claire and so on all the names Summer Rain, Emma Jane, Dina Disco so they've got names related to the pictures generally so you can always colour them in again practice your skin tones on their faces if, if you wanted to They're very cute. We'll just get through and I'll show you the next bit. So there's all these. And so here's the how to draw your own little darling. So make a big head and then emphasize the feet, which is what she does, and it's very cute. And she likes lots of eyelashes, and there's a template so you can draw your own and, and try and draw a little darling. And there's another one. 
I, I, I'm not a drawer, so I'm not an artist. I like to colour, but I, I can't draw, so I probably would never use them. How to do the eyes, which is cool, and it actually shows you. I think this is really good. I mean, I might try it one day. And then you've got little darling eyes there. And then on here, this is where she calls the skin tone practice sheet but you could also use the little pictures and then there you've got some colour swatch index if, if you wanted to use it and then a little note from uh, Kelly Horton about her other books this is please enjoy the bonus pages from my books The Little Darlings and Storybook Darlings and also keep a lookout for my newest book coming this year Little Darlings and the Little D Darklings and Christmas Darlings. Darklings is the Halloween one. I have got that one, but I haven't got the Christmas one. I will be getting the Christmas one. So this is from Little Darlings. And I've got this, this the Little Darlings book as well. And uh, I will do a flip through. It's just this is the one I picked up. Storybook Darlings we've already done, because we've done a page from that. Oh, I've got another copy of the Oz picture. That's awesome. That means I will now try and colour the Oz one. <laughs> and then you've just got her um, website, uh, email address. <laughs> Um, website, uh, Etsy page rather, and uh, the Colouring Collective Facebook group in the book. And, and, and that is Kelly Horton's The Little Littlest Darlings. They are really sweet little books. I really, really like them. I've got four now and there's only one more to get. She also have done, has done books of more true-to-life portraiture because um, she is a portrait artist. And the reason she went on this is because the market was saturated with portraits artists but those portrait books are also still available and I, I think I'm probably going to pick up a couple of them as well uh, but I thought I'd just show you that so I hope you've enjoyed this flip through um, if you have don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one bye guys